polite request. Command and request. Patients in hospital are usually anxious and fearful. It is important that hospital staff put them at their ease by being polite and pleasant. The following drills teach you polite forms in English. Be careful about the way your voice rises and falls when you say these sentences. Bruise Rash Scar Swelling Stiff Sore Bend down Arch Wriggle Sprain Come in. Come in, please. Sit down. Sit down, please. Stand up. Stand up, please. Turn round. Turn round, please. Say ah. See ah, please. Turn over. Turn over, please. Bend down. Bend down, please. Lie down. Lie down, please. Sit up. Sit up, please. Look up. Look up, please. Raise your arm. Will you raise your arm? Please, move your head. Will you move your head, please? Lift your leg. Will you lift your leg, please? Arch your back. Will you arch your back, please? Lower your foot. Will you lower your foot, please? Open your mouth. Will you open your mouth, please? Put out your tongue. Will you put out your tongue, please bend your knee. Will you bend your knee, please, touch your toes. Will you touch your toes, please, wriggle your fingers. Will you wriggle your fingers, please. Roll your sleeve up. Would you roll your sleeve up, please. Take your shirt off. Would you take your shirt off, please? Hold your head up. Would you hold your head up, please? Hold your breath in. Would you hold your breath in, please? Take your trousers off. Would you take your trousers off, please? Keep your mouth open. Would you keep your mouth open, please? Keep your eyes shut. Would you keep your eyes shut, please? Go to CSSD. Would you go to CSSD, please? Stand up. Would you mind standing up, please? Sit down. Would you mind sitting down, please? Turn over. Would you mind turning over, please? Bend down. Would you mind bending down, please? 
He has a pain in his head. He has a stiff neck. He has cut on his thumb. His hand hurts. He has a scar on his thigh. His knee aches. He has a sprained ankle. He has a sore throat. He has a bruise on his arm. He has a swelling on his forearm. He has a pain in his hip. He has a cut on his finger. He has a swelling in his groin. His genitals ache. He has a pain in his ankle. She has a sore breast. She has a pain in her nipple. She has a rash in her navel. Ask the patient to come in and sit down. Ask the patient to stand up and turn round. Will you lie down on the couch, please? Would you roll up your sleeve? Ask Mr. Smith to take off his coat. Bend down and touch your toes, please. Take off your trousers, please. Ask the patient to turn his head to the left. Will you put on your clothes, please? Come back next week, please. Tell Mrs. Smith to raise his right arm. Would you straighten your left leg, please? The baby has a pain in his stomach. John has a cut on his thigh. Ask me to lower my arm. You have a rash on your shoulders. He's got a scar on his left forearm. He's at the head of his class. He's the best. Don't try to elbow your way in. Don't put yourself in. I've got them in the palm of my hand. I'm in control. He has a leg up on this. He has the advantage. I have two left feet. I'm very clumsy. Don't muscle in. Don't try to be a part of this. Keep your lips sealed. Don't talk. She gave me the cold shoulder. She ignored me. I can't stomach his opinion. I don't like his opinion. He's all thumbs. He's very clumsy. He has a big mouth. He can't keep a secret. She has a sharp tongue. She is unkind. Keep your eyes peeled. 
look out for something. Turn the other cheek. Forgive someone. I know the city like the back of my hand. I know it very well. He has a heart of gold. He is kind. He wears his heart on his sleeve. Everyone knows when he is in love. This job is a pain in the neck. This job bothers me. We don't see eye to eye. We don't agree. He turned his back on us. He ignored us. Hair covers the top of the head. A moustache is under the nose. A beard covers the chin. Both toes and fingers have nails. The forehead is between the eyebrows and the hairline. 